Hi guys and girls. We have something new to show you that we just got. We had our pump. We have the new sunshade and we're gonna test it out and give you our thoughts on it. So here we go. Here it is. It's just one of your standard little pop-out type things. Oh, hopefully I get the right way here. Yeah, so I think the Tesla logo is supposed to be in the bottom right, so find where that is. I don't we need see to do a that. Logo. There it is on the other corner. Oh, so I have it. Yeah, so I gotta reverse. flip it all the way around. Yeah, it's kind of awkward doing it in the car here with these, because, I mean, it's cut. To the exact suit. <laughs> so it's just like a standard thing. I actually expected a lot more just because I think I expect everything with Tesla to be like super high tech. I don't know why I do that because I guess you wanted the some, car is. some motorized. <laughs> I know, like seriously, you should push Autom a button and it goes <laughs> some or something. That would some actually be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's add like, on another two thousand yeah. dollars to the price of the car <laughs> next yeah, time. Right. Built-in sunshade. I really don't feel like we even need it, and I kind of feel like I'm camping. <laughs> no, it's like a tent, and this is my little mesh door or something. Um, I don't think I will ever use it. Yeah, it just you know does it takes away from the spectacular nature of this windshield, and we don't feel much heat and goodness that's you know 95 to 100 degrees almost every single day for three months with humidity um and you don't we don't feel much heat so I, I know some people have mentioned oh my goodness i can't you know take it anymore it's so hot but um you know i guess that's just a, a personal thing but because we just haven't felt any sort of excessive heat yeah i, I really don't think it's necessary um but yeah you see it's got these little grooves um, it fits the, in here pretty easily. Yeah, just kind of push in there, and I mean it was made pretty well. The, the little I was bag is fancy. Maybe parking the car somewhere <laughs> for a really, really long time out in direct sun, but I mean. Still, yeah, I but you're still letting in it. heat yeah. from there. So this is just for people who are not used to having, you know, sun above their head. But, but isn't that half of the reason you <laughs> buy this car is for this amazing, amazing windshield? I mean, come on. Yeah, I don't know about half of the reason, but it's, it's a good, know, good chunk of the reason. <laughs> Maybe. I know. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of everyone's favorite features. The first thing, when they, when they get in, actually, they don't notice it right away because there's so many other things they're looking around in here. But one of the next things that they notice when they look up is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is, the, then they follow it by saying, this has got to be my favorite part of the car. Yeah. After they've kind of examined the car and they've fallen in love with it, they, they say that that's their favorite thing. So to have something like this above you would be pointless in that sense. But I guess if you're on a long road trip through the Mojave Desert and you are losing hair, um, then that might, might be beneficial. But yeah. very simple and, you know, probably has some benefits for some people, but I think for most, including ourselves, there, we're probably just going to leave it in the front and, you know, if we're with a grandparent or something who doesn't like the sun on their head, then we'll pop it out. But besides that, and uh, it folds right it, back in. What does it look like from the outside? Can you get a shot of that? Yeah. You can see what it looks Let's like. It Good. I don't know if you could tell because it's, it's tinted. Um, yeah, you can't really tell at all. So I guess you won't look as goofy <laughs> if you're if you're on the outside. You notice it? No, I'm saying it, I guess because it's so tinted up top, you can't really tell. So I just don't think it's needed. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. It is what it is. I'm like totally expected something more high tech, but it's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It actually is a lot like those little kids um pop-up tunnels that you get that are all like in the funny shapes and they pop apart that's that's exactly what it reminds me of. you want to hold them hold them arms width apart and then kind of fold it in no not like that you want to twist okay. it as you fold it let me set this down <laughs> maybe i'm twisting it backwards the wrong way <laughs> i like how you're getting your knees into it <laughs> no what is wrong with me see you just <laughs> you're used to it being motorized I know, it really should be, or like an umbrella that you push the button and it just like pops out. Come on, Tesla. Oh, uh, let, the, let the comments light up. 
I know. You know what? Most of you people on YouTube are actually really, really nice. You guys are very cool. We, we love it. The Tesla community in general, people that are in, intrigued by the car, right. the vast majority of them are very smart people and cool people. That is correct. Yeah, it kind of looks like a weird like little butterfly. Or butterfly. Yeah, just go ahead and. Okay. Yeah. That only took me a minute <laughs> or so. That's funny. All right. <laughs> back in its case where I will probably never use it. <laughs> I think it just locked on you. There you go. 